what is going on people back again with an, another drawing and um yeah i decided to do broly um if you can tell but i not well i, I typically only draw like kind of muscular dudes and that's mainly because I'm, I'm okay at drawing them at the moment um maybe in the future i'll, I'll draw something a little bit uh, more slim i guess i did try and draw wonder woman literally a few days ago and um it doesn't look bad it's just it's just that i'm i'm not in love with it do you know what i mean but if i can work it out i might i might release that as well but anyway yeah, so today's broly and um let's get it okay so now <clears throat> the first thing i realized when drawing this actually i realized it like literally when i was finishing it and the thing i realized was that his chest area here is not big enough it needs to if you look at any but broly is massive and because his chest area isn't big enough he actually looks more like goku than broly right but his chest needs to come up to like here actually maybe that's it maybe that's a bit exaggerated but his chest needs to come up to like here kind of thing and then come back in like that and then and then come like here like he needs to be way more uh impactful do you know what i mean and I think that would have that would have made him look more like Broly than he does right now. But I mean, towards the end, once I've done all the color and stuff like that, it does look like Broly. But I still feel like the chest kind of lets it down a little bit. Other than that, this um, this part here, I mean, the 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 uh, I think everything's fine in relation to what I've done. I mean, it's pretty simple. There's not there's not. This whole drawing here is not complicated to do. Uh, whoops. It's not complicated to do. Um, I did use uh, a reference for the hair and the head. Um, I didn't copy it completely, but I did use it quite a bit. Um, everything else though was the same, was was from what I can, well, it, everything else was just from, from muscle memory of how I want things to look and whatnot. So yeah, that's it. So let me move on to the next layer. Really quickly, actually, with this layer, you can see there's, there's like an outline here, right? You can see the outlines and here and here, whatever, right? Usually I only do, I only do one outline, which is this outline. You can see here, the blue, right? And all, all over the place here and here, right? Um, the blue is supposed to just be where the muscles are. And I tried to do something different here by having the red and the red is supposed to be where the light is hitting. So where the light is going. Um, and I tried to do this because I mean, sometimes I feel like the, the way I ink things, it doesn't look amazing. And so I tried to define it a little bit more by actually telling myself where the light was so I could kind of build around it. Um, I don't overly like both of them though. I'd rather just have the one over the other. Um, and cause it, it became a little bit, a little, little bit too complicated. Um, but again, the inking overall, as you see in a second, doesn't look too bad, but so yeah, I'll move on. Okay. So this is the inking, obviously, as you can see, and I'm just going to break it into parts like I usually do. Um, I really like the hand here. Like I really like it because you can see the knuckles right you can obviously see the see the fingers you can see you know it's quite it's quite clear which is the reason why i like it quite a bit um the thumb as well is also really good um now where i start to dislike certain parts is here i think it's too thick the the black outlines here are too thick i think like maybe Separating the lines or creating a gap in between the lines, like like here maybe, would have just like let it breathe a little bit because it's a bit too blocky. It's like it's too blocky. It's too uh, stiff, you could say. Um, so I don't I don't really like it. I also don't really like how the cross section goes in in that goes in that direction and then the other one goes in this direction. I don't like that. It's a bit confusing because the reality is that this part of the muscle here is sticking outwards so it actually just doesn't make sense here that, that the cross section is going like this because it makes it look like that there's a sunken part here and as it's sunken in it goes upwards 
And it's hard to really show it in a 2D way, but but instead of doing that, I think I should have had it curve like this one here. You can see how it was curved that way. And it shows the rounded nature of the of the object. So if I would have had it curved like this, even even in the other direction actually, so like um like like that, I think would have helped to kind of um make it more make it more more prominent, make it stick out man. And it looks like it's sunken in which I don't really like, but um yeah. Uh again going back to the, the chest area I did say that this chest area should have been much bigger and once I got to this stage there's nothing really I could do about it I mean I could have started again but I liked the way it was so I just didn't want to mess around with it too much um this is okay uh I don't mind it it's just kind of I mean you can see what I'm going for it's just maybe some areas here a little bit you need to need to show more like this area here needs to just, and this area here too actually, just needs to define the, the, the object we're trying to cross hatch. Um, this area here is a little bit messy too. Uh, this, um, what do you, what you call this? The pecs look okay. Um, the chest area is a bit messy you could say, but it kind of works in a weird way. I think the only thing I could change here actually is just to make the lines more even. Right? A little more even so it has more consistency to it. Same here as well. The lines aren't really that even so it's a bit of a mess. Um, this neck area, I quite like it a bit. I like it quite a bit. Uh, collarbone areas here, I like it quite a bit. I didn't, do, I didn't go too hard on the face. Kind of just did some ink, some inking here, a little bit here, a little bit here, where the laugh lines would be. Uh, a little bit here, obviously, and here. But I, I didn't do it too much, though. And um, I think I think it looks it's simplistic. I just didn't want to do too much with it because I just don't know. I don't know what I'm really going for, so I just don't want to do too much with it. Um, this arm, this in fact, this entire arm, realistically. Forget that actually. The entire arm, including the hand, I really like, and I think I like it just because it's it's super simple, um, and you can see exactly what I'm going for. Also, I kind of tried to go for some different type of cross hatching rather than just going like this. You know, you can see on this left arm, a left bicep, I kind of went in like a zigzag motion. I don't know if it works but i like the idea at the very least maybe i could have dragged it over so it was more on this side like this and because of course you have the light source here the light source would hit this area here more look more or less but i think it looks fine um yeah you can see the kind of zigzags here as well yeah i think i think overall in especially this bicep here looks really good the shoulder looks fine the forearm looks pretty good, especially this. Especially, I like what I like about the forearm actually is this area here, just because you can you can see the definition of the arm, and then the hand is pretty simple. But again, I like it. You can see what it is. Blah 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 blah. It's pretty simple. And with the hair, you know, I just kind of inked out some of the some where the shape parts would be. You know, just typical stuff with Dragon Ball Z characters. Let me move on to the next layer to talk about so there's not much to talk about with this layer because it's just color obviously but you can see he look because because of the, the 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 uh the green hair and whatnot and the uh the green i don't know what you call this actually um would you call it a cuirass I don't, I don't know what you call it but anyway you can just call it clothing right it looks like broly but again i wish his chest would have come out here a little bit more because it would have it would have really shown his like presence because again, if I if I was to really make this hair black, it would look exactly like Goku. And even with the hair green and the clothes green, it still kind of looks like Goku. But it's it's whatever at this point. Um. So yeah, you can see some of the light sources here, whatever. A little bit of light sources here, not too much though. It just kind of it just kind of maximizes some of the uh some of the more more prominent um muscle parts of the of his body. Yeah. 
so I think that's that's cool and then lastly I did the the background and I, I didn't know what to really I didn't know what to really do with the background I just kind of did some kind of rolly yellowish greenish power up and if it worked it works if it doesn't it doesn't I mean I think it looks fine could I have done better maybe I don't know but I didn't want to work on it too much um, so I just did a little bit here, a little bit there, and there you have it. So that's the end of the video, guys. I hope you, uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, yeah, I like this one quite a bit, but it's a fairly easy one. Um, you know, if, if you, if you, it's the kind of image you, you, you could imagine Broly doing, and that's the reason why if you, if you Google Broly on Google, this kind of image is seen quite often. Um, so you know, um, and I realized that once I started to draw it, and I needed the reference, I realized that. But, uh, you know, I still like it. I still like it. And um, my next video is probably going to be working on a Wonder Woman drawing because I do want to draw one that's not so buff all the time. Do you know what I mean? So we'll go from there. Anyway, I hope you like it and uh, I'll see you later. Bye.